okay, we want to integrate this polyno uh, rational expression here. And so to do this, because the degree of the numerator is larger than or equal to the degree of the denominator, we're going to want to use uh, long division here. So we're going to we're going to divide x squared plus 5 into uh, x cubed plus 3x squared plus 8x plus 19. So we need to ask ourselves, what times x squared gives me x cubed? And the answer is x. So distributing that, x times x squared is x cubed, x times 5 is 5x. Notice we're lining up, uh, like terms. And now we're going to subtract this entire line from the previous. So x cubed minus x cubed is 0. 3x squared minus nothing is 3x squared. 8x minus 5x is 3x, and then we'll bring down the 19. Okay, so now we want to ask what times x squared gives me 3x squared, and that'd be a 3. So 3 times x squared is 3x squared, 3 times 5 is 15. Again, we subtract, uh, so we get 0 in the first column, 3x here, 19 minus 15 is 4. So this tells me that this fraction here is equal to x plus 3, so this is equal to the integral of x plus 3, plus, and then this is the remainder, so it's 3x plus 4 over the quantity x squared plus 5. That's the remaining fractional part. Now to integrate this, we're going to need to break this apart up into two separate fractions. We'll do that here on the clean page. So we have the integral of x plus 3, plus the integral of 3x over x squared plus 5, and then the integral of 4 over x squared plus 5. Now this part we can integrate easily enough, right? x squared over 2 plus 3x. This part, you'll notice that we have an x squared in the denominator, a 3x in the numerator. That makes us think that maybe substitution will work here. So for this one, we'll let u equal x squared plus 5, du 2x dx. So dx is du over 2x, making that substitution. So we got 3x over u times du over 2x. The x's cancel and we're left with 3 halves integral of 1 over u du. Integral of 1 over u is ln. And then undoing that substitution, we get uh, 3 halves ln of x squared plus 5. Now we got one last piece here. Uh, we got the 4 over x squared plus 5. Now that reminds us of a table entry, that's this entry. Uh, or our, our in integral that gives us an arctangent. In this case, we have an extra 4, which is just going to pull out, right? That's just the same as, just the same as 4 times the integral of 1 over x squared plus 5. But then, how is 5 related here? Well, we need something squared, so this is really 4 over the integral of 1 over root 5 squared, right? Because root 5 squared would be 5, plus x squared dx. Right, so here my a is root 5, okay? So now we can go ahead and use that rule. So we have this extra 4 in front times 1 over a times 1 over root 5, tangent inverse u, of course u is the variable here, in this case that's x, over a, a was root 5, plus c. And there is the integral of that rational expression.